The CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Fair Crop Science. We're here today with Crosby Devitt. He is with the Grain Farmers of Ontario. Welcome today, Crosby. Thank you. Okay, Crosby, what do you do at the uh, GFO? I'm the manager of research and innovation with the Grain Farmers of Ontario and uh, look after our research project funding and issues related to science and technology that are facing grain farmers in Ontario. Okay, so in terms of wheat research projects, uh, what kind of research projects does the GFO engage in? So we basically set out uh, three main priority areas, um, one of them being disease and insects, uh, the other being agronomy, and the other market development and utilization of, of quality Ontario wheat. So can you give us an example of a project that, uh, of one of these research projects? Sure. Um, so in the insect and disease area, fusarium is, is probably our number one issue facing Ontario wheat farmers. And so we put a lot of efforts into uh, projects related to that. Um, and one area is in breeding of better resistant varieties. So we have a, a few projects underway looking at it from different angles. Um, but we do have a project that's looking at trying to bring in genetics that are naturally, naturally resistant to fusarium and then combining that with elite high yielding varieties and trying to create varieties that have both good agronomics in terms of yield um, but also bring in fusarium resistance naturally. So in terms of these research projects, uh, how does the funding work? Like, Is it all uh, producer dollars or is there other mechanisms to, to get the so, money? So, um, through Grain Farmers of Ontario, there's a license fee um, that's, that's contributed by all farmers that are marketing wheat in Ontario. And a portion of that is invested into research projects, so it's set aside um, and then goes into building research projects. We try to take that um, and match it with partners, so it could be government or industry, depending on the project, um, and basically try to maximize the value for everybody, including farmers. Crosby, how do, how do you decide at the GFO which research projects to focus on? So the Grain Farmers of Ontario is structured with a 15-person board of directors and also there's a research uh, subcommittee of the board. And so that committee's task is to gather input from farmers through county meetings, uh, surveys of delegates, information from, um, from their experiences. And we lay that out in a, in a set of priority areas and that guides the investment and so we take those priorities that are written um, and distribute that to the scientists and the research community um, and ask them to submit proposals to us hitting on those key areas and from there we have a selection committee uh, which is a subcommittee of the board of directors who then reviews all of them um, may pu put them out for scientific review if needed and then comes up with a priority list of, of projects that we'd like to fund. So it's really a, a bottom-up sort of driven process, it's driven a, from yeah. the farm. Yep, yep. We really uh, rely heavily on the farmers to get those basic priorities um, that will then turn into projects that are trying to solve the issues. Okay. So in terms of research scope, uh, how many different projects would you be working on in, in a given year? So with Grain Farmers of Ontario, um, we are responsible for corn, soybeans, and wheat in the province, and we have about um, just over 70 projects underway uh, currently. That and and, and financially, how big of, a, of uh, how big of a scope of a project are we talking here? So, in terms of the producer license fees, our annual um, investment is about 1.2 million dollars um, across all those three crops, um, and that. That is kind of a yearly investment. In so the, one, the $1.2 million is the farmer's portion of the contribution? That's correct, yeah. Okay, and so then that amount would be matched by the different participating Yeah, so that's something we spend a lot of time and effort trying to build projects. So um, in almost every project that we're involved in, there are other partners. So we try to bring in um, matching funds through government programs or um, through industry partners um, if the project has relevance to to a company, um, then certainly we would we would partner with them um, where it makes sense. So, uh, if a farmer wasn't in Ontario wasn't familiar with this uh, research suggestion process, how how can they make sure if they have an idea of some sort of piece of research that they think would be a good fit? How do they get that information to you? Um, well, certainly on our website we have all the information related to the priorities and projects that we're involved in. Um, 
but we also have um, our delegate structures throughout the province. So, so in each district you have a, a, a director, but also a number of delegates. And it's really part of their role is to feed priorities up into that board so then they can consider that in the, in the decision-making process. Great. Crosby, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks.